Greetings everyone and welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 17 this time and yes of course at the top of the screen you can already tell who we're going to be playing with. This is a modified Rich Explorer start and as you can see I have uh, done a little, little bit of an intro here. Memories of your previous colony nurse your aching sleep addled mind as your ship rocks violently through the atmosphere of this new world. The landing is hard, but not damaging. At least not for you. The ship will never fly again, however. So, after unpacking your supplies and to the lamentations of the AI and the inevitable rendition of Daisy Bell, you cannibalize your ship for any useful components before setting to the task of founding another colony. If there is interest, by the way, I will make this, uh, this scenario available. Oh wow, this map is gigantic and it is mostly made of mountain. Hmm. And marsh. Marsh and mountain. Marsh and mountains, even. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Certainly, that is, a, that is an entry point. We've got a river running all the way through. Oh, that's fantastic. It's actually highlighting places along the, uh, the mountain where it, where it goes through it, where we might be able to actually ex uh, excavate some stuff. This is going to be fun. Now, we have started with a, a number of things. As mentioned, we cannibalized the ship, so we've got slightly more steel than we initially took with us. Also, some components and some plasteel. We do not have meds. We do have all of the meals that we had. Unfortunately, the meals are not made of people, more than likely, are they? Probably, um, what are they? Uh, it, it just it just says they're meals. They're, they're, they're fresh meals. We don't know what they're made of. Probably not people though. Um, oh, what's that? Petra? No, 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 no. That, that's that's actually that's actually Yoko. Oh, we must have hit our head on the way down. Oh my lord! I'm gonna have to fix that, aren't I? Uh, first though, let me uh, just change this. Now, Dark Avak is pretty pretty faithful to the Dark Avak that left the colony. There is uh, there are two differences though. All of the the um, traits, the backstory, the name is all the same. The skills are all the same, except I have tweaked um, passions very slightly, just to represent how I feel the character developed through the playthrough. Initially, he started with only um, a small level, a minor passion for animal handling, but that increased quite drastically, I feel, when he had to suddenly just tend all of the animals throughout the playthrough in order to get his skill high enough that he could have um, Yoko bonded with him. So, uh, yeah, so I've increased that up to a, a higher um, level of passion. I've also added a little bit of passion for cooking, because let's face it, Dark Ave right at the end was very, very into chopping people up. Uh, that's something he, he quite enjoyed I, I fancy he has got all of his bionics and naturally um, right well Petra yeah we're, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do some changes here so uh, I think Dark Abyss is gonna clonk himself over the head a couple of times with the, the gladius don't worry he's wearing his power armor helmet so he should be fine and I'll bring you right back okay Dark Havoc is uh, Spent a little bit of time down the tree creek, splashing water in his face, shaking the sleep out of his mind. And there we are. Yoko's name appears normally. Maybe with some sort of problem with his eyes. Maybe this is a sign the Dark Havoc needs to get bionic eyes as soon as possible. But you will notice that Yoko has all of her bionics. She has all of her training. She has her bond. Everything is grand. And uh, we are going to get to building the colony at this point. Now, I've had a chance to look over the map. And I really do think that this little area where we've landed is is actually probably one of the best spots now the first thing we're going to want to do is get a little area where we can store our our things without them deteriorating any more than they already have and there's two types of storage that we're going to need firstly let's make a little uh, dumping stockpile and for this i want anything that doesn't rot that doesn't break down over time so um any stone chunks any slag anything like that can go in there um, apparel weapons, no, those are no good. But raw resources, yes. Now, plant matter, hops, I'm, I'm going to assume that these will break down, so I'm going to restrict plant matter. But all of this doesn't break down, as far as I'm aware. So we're going to store those over there. But for everything else, we actually do need somewhere specific to put these things. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and... Um, this is a bit of a weird shape, whereas this is actually fairly uniform, and I quite like that. So let's uh, do something around here. We're going to build a roof over this area. Now, this is not particularly good for storing um, items yet. 
Um, certainly not food. It will degrade, though. The general temperature here in a boreal forest is fairly low, so it's not terrible. Right, so we want to clear all, allow all. We don't... Well, yes, we do want corpses here. We don't want chunks. And we don't want raw resources, except for plant matter. There we go. Right, Dark Abbey, you've got a bit of work to do. Hopefully, Yoko can help you out with that as well. It's a uh, speed up time. Yoko will decide what she wants to do. Yeah, she wants to help out. Well done, Yoko. To that, um, on that uh, note, we do need to make sure that Yoko has some non. So, we are going to designate a bunch of stuff to be hunted. Now, Dark Abbey doesn't have the hunting... Um, skill set up in fact well actually no he does okay well let's uh, go through this and set these up as i would normally do it now uh i usually go through i take everything off so we'll start with that and then i'll walk you through the way that i um assign skills uh it's been a long while since i've done this so we might it might be uh useful to some people who may be a little bit newer to room world so first and foremost the things that i want everyone to do with the highest possible priority and that is flicking switches i want that done straight away uh i also want them to go to bed if they have an immediately life-threatening condition just get to bed right now firefighting is important but it's not as important as these two things so i want that on a two now flicking a switch is that important for me because if i need a, a switch flicked sometimes that could be a switch that pounds my turrets because something bad has just happened so i really want that done right away bed rest is a uh, i'd probably say that's a two um, this is a non-life-threatening condition, but I generally want people to get those things sorted fairly quickly. Uh, I might actually even say that's a three, to be perfectly honest. Uh, is there anything else? Plant cutting. I do like plant cutting done. And as far as I'm aware, this is not based on any kind of skill, so everyone can do it. But it's not going to be higher priority than having bed rest, so that'll be a three as well. Next up, we would have hauling and cleaning. Now... As you know, I like to alternate between people. If uh, Well, as you know, if you've seen any of my previous series, I like to have hauling, kind of alternating between hauling is more important, cleaning is more important, depending on the person. We'll start with hauling with Dark Havoc because right now it's more important that it gets everything moved around. Now, with the mod allowed to, we actually have priority haul. Now, priority haul should be a higher priority than normal hauling. And it's basically saying this is really important that this stuff gets moved. I'm not going to make that as high as, as my ultra high important task which is you know the, the colony's survival may depend on this but it, it does need to be pretty high up now the next thing you want to do is generally now we've got all the sort of stuff that everyone should be taking care of out of the way now we can have a look at the things that it depends largely on skill and by and large if you've got passions in a skill you're going to get better at those very quickly and also you're going to get a little bit of joy from it so i like to prioritize these as well so i'm going to say um well doctoring is a special one we'll come back to that in a moment uh for example han handling um all of these should be threes so there we go um but I'm going to say that handling is going to be a higher priority because that is training animals and he gets a lot of joy from this because he's very, very passionate about animal handling. Um, also, cooking can be a three as well. Now, doctoring, if your doctor is a, 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 your primary doctor's, I think they should do the work straight away. Very few people are going to get this job at all because I don't want someone who is untrained ever touching this role. But if, if someone is one of your primary doctors, they should have that on a one, in my opinion. It, it should be one of the most important things to them to take care of someone who is in bed needing treatment. Because that person might be someone who is there because it's life-threatening. So they should get to that straight away. On the flip side, because I don't want a doctor rushing to bed to lie down to be treated, especially when I've only got one, in, as the case is right now. But in any general situation, I'm going to drop that down to a two. So... In their case, in a doctor's case, do the doctoring first, then go to seek your own own care. But in everyone else's case, seek your own care, don't do doctoring, more or less. Um, it, it also gives the kind of selfless act to, to the doctors, though I don't think that really applies to Dark Avac. It is going to be the case here, especially because now you can treat yourselves. Everything else, though, um, pretty much, if I, if I haven't already set it, it gets the lowest priority. Um, they'll just do it when they can. Uh, I won't put hunting down because he shouldn't be hunting. You'll get a, we a little weird um, sound 
when you do it if they have no skill in it whatsoever. So uh, these are things Dark Havoc will only do if there's nothing better to do. Honestly, he cleaning should probably be a little bit higher than most of these things, but I'm, I'm going to leave it as, as is there. Right, okay, so that should take care of Dark Havoc's priority, so you can get to that. Now we need to restrict you, and as as all of you know, I am not a big fan of, of, of sleep. Sleep is basically pretending to be dead for a little while, and it's enforced on you, no less, which is even worse. So we're going to get rid... Six hours of sleep is frankly more than I get, but I'm going to, I'm going to be generous. They're on a, an alien world. Maybe they need a little bit more of a break. Then enforced joy. Uh, a break of anything, just in case they, they for some reason need more rest, but they might be sick, for example. They'll get a little bit more time for that. Then joy, and again, anything after that, just one hour's worth of anything, just in case they do still, they haven't quite topped up their their enjoyment yet and for some reason they're in a bad mood so they need a little extra hour then four hours worth of work followed by four hours of anything four hours of work and then two hours of anything this gives them plenty of opportunity through the day to just do something that they need to take care of or like if their mood is just taking a massive plummet for some reason go into a little bit of joy in between your work whatever you think is right but there is going to be two periods of enforced four hour blocks of work every day that i think is very important now have you uh, managed to hold everything i don't think so but it's time for us to get a little bit of uh choppering doing let's get all of these trees cut i think we're gonna need them there we are are these oh the wood is decaying actually oh wait no the wood is decaying because it's uh, yeah the wood is decaying probably because it's outside deteriorating because it's unroofed okay so wood is gonna have to move indoors then very well so wood no wood yes down here there we are. Let's get those moved around a little bit. There we are. And Dark Havoc is now going to start chopping some things down. Now, there's a couple of things that we're going to need to get as fairly high priority. And that is going to be Heal Root. Unfortunately, Dark Havoc does not have growing at a particularly high skill. He has got five, which is a godsend because that means he is going to be able to grow strawberries, which are really good early, early game food source because it doesn't matter if you eat them raw. In fact, people like eating them raw. They get a little bit of a mood buff from doing that. Um, but it's not high enough to grow heel root. Thankfully, in the new version, heel root grows naturally. Oh my lord, heel root just died. Why? Why? Oh, it's too cold. I bet it's too cold. It's too cold. No! Quickly, harvest the heel root. Go forth. Harvest. Harvest any heel root that is harvestable. Harvest it now. I'm actually going to wake you up to do this, Dark Havoc. I know it's going to put you in a really foul mood, but uh, I'm sure you'll thank me when inevitably you get the plague and there's no one here to... to and we haven't actually started uh, getting any medicine in and you're going to have just all of this medicine just sitting there waiting for you. It's going to be great. But you're going to do it now because apparently it's pretty bloody cold right now. And there we go. Also harvest this one. Now we might not get something from all of them. Our harvest skill is not particularly high. And the you'll get a, an amount based on the maturity of the plant. Like if it's a 50%, you'll get 50% yield. So in some cases, you know, when that's particularly low and you are a low skilled person doing the work, you're not going to get much. Uh, there we go. You might get nothing, in fact, as was the case there a couple of times. But there we go. All right. Back to work. Sorry, you might be a little bit tired. Um, let's actually have a have a look at you. Your needs. Yeah, you didn't get a whole lot of rest. Yeah, just chilling out for now. Uh, okay, well, they're refrigerated. It's going to take a little while for them to spoil, which is, you know, useful. But we are going to need to get things hauled and built fairly soon. We might use this wall, though, honestly, I would actually prefer to pull it down. And the reason I would prefer to pull it down is because I'll get the bricks back. We're going to build a couple of little rooms, I think, in this colony. And I'm going to have a couple of buildings outside. And I think that's going to be pretty cool. Um, so we'll start off by building up a room around here. Uh, yeah, we'll make, it a, we'll make it a large room to start with. Because this is going to be both Dark Avac and Yoko's bedroom for now. We'll also lay down that I want flooring in there. Uh, what kind of floors, though? We've got a couple of options. Um, like for example, light wood. It has a beauty of one, which is a nice, nice floor. This one has no beauty at all, but it's easy to put up. Mosaics have a beauty of two. They're the nicest of the wooden floors, I'm fairly certain. Barn floor has no beauty whatsoever. Um, oh, thank you very much, Yoko. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with... Oh, you got a little bit too tired of waiting for Dark Havoc to get you food, I see. Bad Dark Havoc. Uh, let's get some mosaics around there, around the edges. Then we'll have a light wood on the insides and some just regular flooring 
at the very edge. I'm not sure if this is going to look good, but we'll hope it does. Now, um, yeah, you're also going to be hunted. I'm going to mark you for hunt. Uh, is there any other animals around here that I can hunt? Or mark for hunt? No, it doesn't look like... I could go for the Megatherium, but I'm not fancying that one. Honestly, it's uh, get the rats. No, only one. Okay, Dark Havoc, you need to uh, slay some of these animals so Yoko has plenty of food. So, let's go and kill them. Now, because they've been marked for hunting, when they die, they won't be uh, automatically um, uh, forbidden. Which you will usually happen if you kill anything just out of the blue. So, by marking them as targets for hunting first, it means that when they're dead, someone will immediately be able to hold them, which is exactly what we need. Right, Dark Avid, I really would like you to hold the medicine there, if you would be so kind. Yoko, you can hold the meat in if you get the chance. We'll eventually cut it up, because we'll get more meat out of it if we if we actually butcher it ourselves. Uh, but right now, our focus is going to be on just getting the, the a room for them to live in. We'll then worry about setting up a proper freezer. We're going to have to get some power for that, though. Uh, additionally, we're going to need, then need a, a room for cooking. Now, these don't need to be the rooms as they'll always always be. They can just be a temporary setup for now, and that would be fine. Ah, oh, we, we is unfortunate you're sleeping out in the cold, but it's going to happen for a little bit. I could have prioritized getting the room a little bit faster, but there. Nah. Uh, slept aside, slept in the, on the ground, ate without a table. Yeah, we'll get all of this sorted, don't you worry. Though uh, our food is going to spoil very, very soon, actually. That is probably going to need to be something that we look at very, very quickly. Okay, well, hopefully we can get the uh, all of this set up. We do need defenses, but the first couple of raids are probably going to be pretty uh, pretty small raids, so I'm not going to worry too much about those. Yoko, if you can move that for me, that would be fantastic. Thank you. Let's get all of this sorted. Everything out of the way. Okay, Dark Havoc is prioritizing these. Okay, very well. Let's get it all out of the way. Thank you. And then, can you stop building? No? Yeah, focusing on hauling. Have we not got material? We've got loads of materials, so I'm not sure why. Um, oh, of course. Construction is actually a very low priority for Dark Havoc at the moment. There we go. Does everything else first. There we are. Let's get the whole room set up. It's not going to be the best room in the colony. Well, actually, it will be, because it's the only room in the colony. So, uh, well done. Win by default. Uh, first, let's get some furniture going in here. So, we'll start off with a bed. Uh, we'll have the bed. Um, we'll just pop it over there for now. It'll just be a, a, a single bed for now. We do not have any kind of cloth, so we're not going to be able to make Yoko a proper bed. Um, so, that we'll have to do for now. We'll get a small table. We'll have that about there. We'll get a dining chair in there i am going to for the time being heat this room with a torch i think that's that would probably be the best thing we'll also put in a plant pot just to uh make the place a little bit nicer next up we're going to place down a joy item and that's going to be a horseshoe peg there we go let's see if we can get, can't get all of this done there we are perfect now you'll have something to actually eat so that will be another thing off the uh, the mood list okay so with all of that done we do now need to very very quickly set up a proper storage area for our noms eventually we're gonna have to move that in order to make use of the geotherm but that's fine for the time being uh, I would like to probably have our power up the back um, Though that being said, I mean, it would be ideal if I didn't have to rely on that too much. So, okay, we're going to have an internal door and then a vent. Just bleeding heat out. Now, in the beginning, it's going to be really inefficient because we're not going to be wasting the heat. We're just going to be pumping it outside. Later on, what we would like to do is set this up so that we can actually make use of that heat instead. But for the time being, we'll just set up a, a room like this. We'll have some doors around here. This is not the best way of insulating your areas. Um, in fact, a cavity wall is the by far the better way of doing it. Uh, next, we're going to want a power source. Now, the power source, we'll build it just about here. Uh, well, actually, we'll build it a little bit further up, so there. Then we're going to want a battery. Now, the battery, strictly speaking, does not need to be housed in anything. 
Uh, I think we'll have two batteries just because, though, just to make sure that we've got plenty of uh, backup power. And I'm going to build a little area over here and make sure that this area has a roof over it. There we go. And we should be almost ready. Now, I'm giving them a lot of chores right now, which is n very rarely the right thing to do. I'll be honest with you. And I don't want this... Because this is all going to be made out of wood, I don't want the, the, the power cable running into the walls. If this explodes, it might not catch everything on fire, um, which would be ideal. So we want a cooler right there. And that should be good for now. It's a lot of work for Dark Havoc to do, so I'm going to let him get on with that, and I will bring you back when he's done. Ah, oh, unfortunately, we finished all the building just just in time for the sun to go away. Damn it! But we've got a we've got a visitor from the a settler from the Democratic Dominion of East Tion. Uh, they're visiting the colony. She is named Anita Anita Kaiser. Oh, very well. Uh, your nickname is Anita. I uh, fair enough. Uh, what are we waiting on for this battery? Uh, nothing. Just a little bit of work. Uh, what? Don't disturb Dark Havoc's slumber, you scallywag you. My lord, you're walking into someone's room? While they're asleep, no less. My goodness. Oh, I'm going to drop down a paved tile there. Now, hopefully, this room is going to chill really quick. Okay, thank goodness, because I'm fairly certain those are on the on the verge of being spoiled. Uh, so we've got two batteries that'll, that'll fill up with charge, which is fantastic. Um, I kind of like it if things didn't grow in this room. So let's pop down some concrete there. Um, over here, we are going to likewise get some... Well, I mean, it would be good if our food was being stored in a room that isn't... Um, that isn't floored with dirt. Because I think that gives a small chance that it's going to go bad. I'm also going to have a light in it, actually. If we can get rid of that, we can just put the light right there. So that would actually work out. Um, okay, so for the floors in here... We could go... We've got a couple of limestone blocks, actually. Um, how much would we need for any of the limestone slabs? Three tiles per... We don't even have remotely close enough, unfortunately. But what we might have is enough to uh, do a little bit on either side here. So, yeah, okay, we're going to pop this down. And we're just going to make it look nice, damn it. Uh, I am, however, going to dig away this wall. We're going to do that so that I can ensure that this room is properly sealed off um, from the outside. And that uh, I'm not sure exactly whether, um, for example, rough stone walls affect the cleanliness of, of a room or, the, or, or how sterile the room is considered. So that is why I think it would be wise for us to get that sorted. Let's get that one done. If you could get to work on that, please, Dark Alec, like right now. There we go, thank you, and then that one as well. Perfect. Okay, so that's a little bit of a better room now in terms of its cleanliness, I think. Dark Alex doing a good job there of cleaning everything else up. Well done. Um, at this point, I think I might even, given the, the battery over there, would I be able to hook up? Oh, it's just, just a little bit too far away. Uh, okay, well, given that, I think I might actually do away with this wall entirely. We could have another two batteries there if I wanted to later on. We don't want that just yet, but I would like to run a little bit of power out just far enough that I can hook up a, uh, a better nightstand for him. Area revealed. Uh, this was that little area over there. Not even worth looking at. But we have got a local here that's gone mad. Fantastic, I approve. Right, Dark Avic, when you see something that you don't like, hit it with your sword. Or with your fist. Uh, up to you, entirely, honestly. If you if you want to just kind of do a, a, a leaping punch with your metal arms, I completely agree with this. Uh, well done. <laughs> Though you have taken a scratch. Uh, you A tiny little bite. You're bleeding 2% of your blood out every single day. Um, I am going to let you self-tend. So sure, okay. You, you can take care of that. <laughs> <laughs> Amusing. Um, right. Let me actually have a look at the uh, more floors, though. Is limestone... Like, how beautiful is that? Yeah, beauty of two. So, how many blocks have we got? We've only got four. But, we can remove these floors. And actually, I'm going to put them in there as well. I think it's going to look lovely. Uh, let's make sure that all of this is concrete, though, because otherwise it'll do my head in. There we go. So that's all, all set up properly. We've got power now. Everything seems to be reasonably okay. Uh, I would like a lamp in here, right in the center, just to light that room up for us. And I would like a bedside table with a lamp on it. Oh, that's awesome. They've actually got different shapes now. 
when they're um, to the sides. That is fantastic. I, I am unreasonably happy about that. For the longest time, that, that frustrated me. That, they, that If one was pointing to the left or the right, you couldn't tell the difference. That is fantastic. Absolutely marvellous. All right, let's see if we can get these built. Fantastic. A little bit of extra light in there. Now, this bed should actually be uh, providing Dark Havoc a lot of bonuses to his sleep because of the nightstands next to it. So as we can see, rest is going up super fast. Oh, look at that. Look at that. He is super happy. Very low expectations. Prostophile has bionic body part. Tons of joy. New colony optimism. Ate a lavish meal. Extremely comfortable. Yoko's master. Spacious interior. Feeling good. These are good things. I am super pleased. Uh, we'll get the rest of those pulled out as well. Those floors. And then I would actually like... Just to make this room look a little bit more fancy. We'll pop these around the edges. And then I'll have a limestone slab right there and i think that'll look really nice we do need to get this uh, room kept nice and uh, tidy though there we are have we got enough t bricks we might not actually have enough of that last little tile oh that'll be so annoying never mind we've got some more down here that we can easily get sorted there we go that's what we needed to see perfect beautiful room is beautiful we'll keep that little torch there i think for now uh okay so overall fairly happy with how things are going this area is being kept quite uh, cool though i'm a little bit unhappy with wasting that heat frankly we need to work on that now uh in here i'm gonna go for a light wood floor uh, actually given that this is going to be a place where i'm preparing food i'm going to do exactly the same again and actually prepare that area out. we'll probably have a torch in here and i'm not sure entirely um maybe even a field stove just so that we don't have to dip into our our batteries too much just yet because everything is uh, you know we're, we're on the fence with a lot of stuff right now uh we, we can't be too wasteful in our energy supplies uh can you please get that stone out of there for me and just haul that somewhere yoko if you wouldn't mind doing that for me while dark Alex is chilling out that would be cool uh we're also gonna need to hunt you there we go perfect now we haven't got any defenses yet and i'm, I'm absolutely certain that we're gonna have a, an attack soon uh the next thing i would like is well given that this is just a little workshop i'm gonna have a paved tile between these two areas there this whole area though needs to be smoothed i want it to be smooth because i think that'll make it cleaner um rough stone i think generates um just dirt and dust a little bit faster i i'm really not certain on that one though so don't quote me on it oh refugee chased at colony a civil servant named dimitri glasses ball calls you from nearby he's being chased by pirates of the triumph army he begs for safety and offers to join your colony biologically he is 22 years old be warned if you accept they, you'll have to fight them off i am completely going to accept that i may or may not eat you afterwards though if you're a terrible character chemical interest uh, psychically dull not too bad incapable violent so useless you scoundrel but you're actually not a bad uh, researcher and you're not a bad cook mm, very well you may live here uh, hopefully we can actually get some people that will uh, allow you to have some clothing so i'm going to set you up with pretty much the same setup here you however are not going to be doing any kind of doctoring uh, all of this the same up to this point um handling you can have that on a four cooking you can do though that's fine um construction all of those four again pretty much exactly the same through this except I, um, no i'm gonna say all of these are fours because you're no good at them I, I'm, I'm just gonna have you do all of those as as fours because you're just no good however you're gonna have a slight uh, difference there and actually you are going to have um should i give you a two in research sure i'm gonna give you a two in research we haven't built a research bench yet but i'm gonna give you a two for that uh, i don't think you, you've got any particular reason to to be doing those so, so those will all be fours even though they're this well uh, they're skilled work so i'd actually rather you not do them at all since you're no good at any of them thinking about it um same for dark havoc actually let's not do art if you're no good at it we we can do art later on but right now there's no one in the colony who's particularly good at being an artiste uh however you will be doing crafting um uh, 
that does require relevant skills, but yeah, I think that would be a good one to do. Uh, ooh, Glasses thinks that you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? Well, Glasses, if you just showed up, I'm not really sure that you... you <laughs> He's, he's trying to ingratiate himself, really. He's trying to become a part of the community as soon as possible so that Dark Havoc doesn't eat him. I, I mean, I can respect that, I suppose. Um, what should the faction name be? Okay, I think... Let me just make sure I spelled that right. I hope I did. Uh, we're going to go along with the same sort of theme that we had previously. This, The Pandemonium Chorus was our previous uh, function name. And I think going along with that, since we've still got Dark Avak and Yoko, is is a good move. But with a slight change, because it's a different series, a different world. So Pandemonium Choir instead. And moving along with that theme since uh, this isn't so much of a doomed ship kind of scenario as it was previously we're going to just keep with the pandemonium theme and so we're going to have the stygian sanctuary as the name of this colony i think that is going to be glorious a faction is now known as the pandemonium choir and this community is now known as the stygian sanctuary uh hello you're just one of you oh that's actually not too bad okay dark out could you go out there and, and slay them utterly please go go attack them Move forth, go around the swamp, of course, because it takes forever to do anything on the swamp. Uh, some smoothing is happening. Okay, well, that's not too bad. I'm going to need to make someone a bedroom, aren't I? Oh, scallywags. Now, we may actually end up with a prisoner here. Okay, well dodged there, Dark Avak. Let's have a look at them. You almost cut their hand off. Fantastic. Cutting the torso. Another dodge. Beautiful. Doing really well. Okay, he's not managed to get a hit. He didn't get a single hit in on Dark Avak there. He's bobbing and weaving left and right, ducking around, probably danced around him a little bit, taunting him, making him even more infuriated as he was lopping at the hands. Fantastic. Left leg almost cut off. Right hand, oh, well, I mean, I say almost cut off. They're very badly wounded. They have very few hit points left. So a little bit more damage would have taken them off completely. But no broken bits. This is good. Also, they're optimists, but they're slightly abrasive um that's not great but they're not a bad catch honestly hmm maybe for a temporary uh moment we're just gonna throw this in here we're gonna take our first prisoner wow okay sleeping spot we're gonna make that a prisoner sleeping spot and dark avoc i would super like you to capture them capture take them back go uh, is that it yes the, the raid is over i think there we go if you could haul them back and maybe tend to them, maybe, I don't know. Do they deserve to be tended to I, I think they do. Uh, we're going to tend to them, I think. Uh, but we're going to need to set up an actual new bedroom as well. I'm going to let time pass while we're doing this. It's not particularly difficult work. Um, you're not going to get quite as awesome looking a bedroom, though. Not as, as Dark Avoc has got. So we'll, we'll make it something like this. We'll, we'll leave a little alley area between this um little building and the other we can lead down paths and the like uh in here we'll pop down i mean you can still have nice flooring though there's no reason to be uh, stingy with that there we go some decent flooring uh once again get the same sort of uh, detailing as we've previously done uh but for the time being i think we're gonna have to go with the um perimeter of uh, mosaic flooring all the way around. All right, let's have a look at you. I want you to be friend. Oh, it's not very hard to recruit you. We're going to chat and recruit straight away. We're going to see what we can do. Uh, what kind of uh, health? Uh, you're actually giving very good care considering, but he's using up some of our very limited stock of medicines. Not a big fan of this. Not a big fan of that at all. Wait a second. Glasses, do you have growing? No, you suck. What about what about our, our prisoner? Do they have growing? Ah, oh, everyone sucks so bad. So bad at the growing. Uh, it's an important job, guys. Okay, well. Uh, we need to set up this area, and I'm thinking a very large area to start with. Um, possibly even 30 by 19. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's go uh, 6 by... Um, 6 by... I'm not sure, actually, on that one. We could go with... Yeah, 6 by 9. Because that'll give us 4. Yeah, I like that, actually. I mean, some of them will be less um, useful than others, but... 
overall that'll be a nice little uh, setup uh, we'll have our main food crop going there our secondary food crop going here and that's going to be strawberries over here we'll actually pop down some cotton because we are going to need it and unfortunately we can't do heal root yet so we'll have a probably a tertiary um food crop so we'll go with rice there we go that that'll give us our initial uh, bit of food now the growing period in this colony is fairly small and that's by intention I, I looked for a long time for a spot on the on the world map for this uh, let's actually head out there it'll take a little while to generate the the world map because it's the first time I've looked at the world since I actually embarked the colony um, but you'll notice that I actually selected the boreal forest down here very very specifically we've got a fairly good setup of our um, proximity to different factions but the growing period here if we go to terrain is only 20 days the 11th of september to the 1st of april may the months the seasons have all been changed there's no seasons anymore but instead they are a combination of the months across which those seasons fall so yeah 20 days i think if you've got 50 days it's more or less all year except for a, a part of one season the middle bit of one season but um yeah so we've only got about a third ish of the year around about um where we can actually grow and so it's going to be important that we get that get that moving quite quickly and we, it's also going to give us a reason to have hydroponics which is one of the main reasons why i wanted to uh, ensure that we didn't have uh, a full year's worth of growing uh right glasses what are you up to right now you're just uh chopping down trees now you're just cleaning um oh okay i suppose that will work i guess um fine all right dark have can hopefully come down there and help oh no actually dark have is sleeping <sighs> Okay, glasses. I'm gonna be kind to you. I'm gonna be kind to you and I'm gonna let you sleep in here. But this is very temporary, I'll have you know. There we go. You pop in and, and have a snooze. Uh, or you can carry on doing a little bit of work until it is time for you to snooze. Oh, of course, yes, we haven't set this up yet, have we? Um, glasses, I want you to wake up a little bit earlier in the day and go to sleep a little bit earlier as well. That way we can shift the work times around a little bit. There we go. And we can ensure... I mean, it means that, that they're not going to have the same joy period. But... Uh, and, and right now, when they're sharing a room, this is a really bad thing because it's going to disturb sleep for people. However, it does mean that work is going to be done at different times. Which is ideal, actually. There we go. Let's keep on going with all of this. Dark, I was just having a bit of a chill-out session. And we're back to chopping down trees. Fantastic. Let's get this room done today if possible i would really like um glasses to have a place to sleep now obviously i'm going to be renaming all of the colonists i'm actually going to be renaming all of the animals but it's going to be coming down to a case of me asking for name suggestions when the colonists or animals are available rather than having a you know an obnoxiously larger list of names that i have to troll through all the time so who would like to have glasses and in advance who would like to have capel sin so pop your names down in the comments below on this video, and I will draw from them in the next episode. Well, Capel Sen, whenever we, we manage to get them, if we do. But Glasses will be renamed in the next episode. Uh, we've got a little bit more work to do over here. Honestly, if you would just do the planting, it would be good. Um, they've got a million other things that they all want to do. I'm, I'm going to stick to it, though. I'm going to let them take care of that first before going out and planting and cutting down all of these trees. There we go. And that'll actually start them doing a little bit of uh, hauling and stuff as well. There we are. If we can get all of that sorted, that would be grand. Now I can place down the um, furniture that's going to be in here. So we're going to want a bed for you. And sure, we'll, we'll have a, a similar setup to um, Dark Avatar. I'm not sure we're going to be able to fit in a oh we can fantastic okay you get the the nightstand as well as the end table then uh we are also going to give you a well i'm going to give you a square plant pot in this room i think we'll pop it just over there and you too will have yourself a torch right there and that's going to be um, a little bit of extra heating, not just lighting, that's specifically there really for, for the heating element, so I don't have to worry about setting that up. 
You, however, might get very cold in here, so I do need to give you a torch as well. Oh, we've got our first raid. Fantastic. All right, a group of pirates from the Armadillo Men have arrived here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take that seriously. <laughs> Armadillo Men. Ooh, caribou. Fantastic. I bet they're going to be delicious noms as well as a muffalo. Uh, we've still got enough food at the moment. Yoko's probably doing fine. Though. We're not... Uh, are you actually okay? Yeah, you, you got loads of food this one. All right, well, Dark Havoc, I'm going to need you to deal with the armadillo, man. Uh, try not to laugh, though, when you're doing it. Um, are they uh, are they actually on their way? No, he's just chilling out. Uh, I'm fine. If you're naked down there in, in, in the boreal forest biome... Oh, you got camel hair pants. That's, that's okay, I guess. Oh, man, it's going to suck. You're going to get up there. You're going to be chilled to the bone. Uh, they, are, they are actually attacking in a little pain. Um, you've got a, a stab scar on your arm. Good, 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 good. Right, okay, well, Dark Alec, I kind of want you to get the first hit in here, so I would like you to go and engage if you can. Get a little bit of a run-up. You move a lot faster, so you can get a lot of momentum between behind that initial lunge right now. Wow, oh, fantastic. You did get hit, though, but that was a deep cut in the right hand. Let's see, you got you, got you with a, a, a blow to the torso. Uh, another miss, another cut. Oh, he got you again. Uh, left shoulder this time. This one's a little bit better than the other one. Uh, incapable of dumb labor, teetotaler, neurotic, but you are a hard worker. Hmm. And you've actually got growing high enough. Uh, never mind, you're dead. Never mind. Never mind my, my, my plans. No, no plans. I was going to say we could just go ahead and, uh, tame, uh, sorry, tame you. Um, get you to help with the growing. But alas, no, that was not meant to be. Not today, at the very least. We're going to need to get our growing skill up very quickly, though, because that's going to be really bad. Uh, I, I didn't remember to put uh, any meds in the ship before Dark Havoc left, left the last colony. It's my fault. But I'm not, I'm not going to just magic meds out of nowhere. No, no, no. That's not the point of this playthrough. This is a continuation of the last story. So any mistakes I made also get continued, alas. Uh, there we go. Let's make sure that we're trying to grab as much of the harvestable adult plants as we can. But I don't want to hit the uh, harvest everything button because they'll just get uh, obsessed with collecting berries. And the only thing I really want them going out there to get are the uh, heel root plants. Um, but generally only where they're reasonably mature. That one's ready to harvest. Fantastic. Uh, anything else? No, I can't see any more around that I really want to go for. That's fine. Yoko is off to gather a club, I think. Pass a little bit of time. Oh, pardon me. Uh, right, okay, you've got a couple of bruises, two cracks on your bionic bits. Uh, we have gone through a lot of our medicines as a result. That is super bad. Oh, well. Um, hopefully, we can get the rest of these trees cut. I'm actually going to give you an order to cut trees. There we go. Hopefully, you can get out there and do that straight away. Um, after you've <laughs> lavish meal, really. My lord. Uh, do we actually have anyone who's doing wardening? Yeah, it's the last thing you do, but um, uh, okay. I'm glad that you are taking care of that. Um, we're going to have a decent amount of wood to finish the last little bits of there. Right, glasses, we no longer need that bed for you. There you go, you've got your own bedroom. You can go up there and enjoy it. Uh, we've got a torch there that needs to be built. I think they may be off gathering the plants at this point, which I'm frankly okay with, actually. We do need those gathered really badly. Yoko, where are you currently assigned? You're unrestricted. So Yoko should actually go out and gather those for us. That shouldn't be uh, an issue. And our prisoner, fully healed. Very nice. Let's actually have a look at our moods. Um, okay, ugly environment, feeling bad, slightly impressive barrack. Well, it's not a barrack anymore, so it's fine. Um, so impressive dining room, impressive barrack. That is, this is not a dining room. I think you are mistaken. This is Dark Avac's sleeping quarters, you scallywag. And to be fair, though, whose fault is it that you're naked, mate? Because it's not Dark Avax's fault. It's your fault. Uh, right. Um, well, what kind of clothing have you got? Uh, T-shirt. I mean, I could have you wear the dead man's pants, but I'm, I'm not sure what is the worst mood debuff. Naked is a minus six. It also might be uncomfortable temperature. Kind of uncomfortable recently. I need to get something soft to sit on around here. Well, you know. I could strip them, but I... No. I, I think you're just going to have to live with that one, mate. But I'm glad that you're actually trying to... Uh, there we go. Got a little bit more heat in there. Get your room sorted as well. 
Uh, I would like a paved tile out front. There's paved tile. There we go. Pomp. And there we go. Okay, so I'm fairly happy with where the colony is at the moment. We've got a little bit more work to do over there. Um, we might actually be shy on something. No, we are not shy on anything. Fantastic. Just a little bit more work needs to be done. We've got two rooms. We've got uh, a third in reserve. I'm going to need to build a bedroom for you and actually get you out of that room because I want that to be the uh, butchery area just so that I can chop up these bodies so that uh, Yoko can enjoy them. Uh, but that is going to be it. We do need to get this planting done, so I may have to actually prioritize that in the next episode. But that is going to be it from me. So do let me know down in the comments below what you're thinking about the series so far and uh, my choices and how I've set it up following the last series. And as ever, like if you like and sub if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.